So, Mark, it's also our final week. How's preparations been going? Aye, uh, very good, uh, Oisin. Um, you know, after the game against Monaghan, I think it was just getting over that game and getting into this uh, this this also final was the the main goal. You know, I think we've been no kind of you know apologies all year that we've just kind of made the league a stepping stone for for, for Ulster Championship and we, we've been focused on that since you know day one back at training and the boys are buzzing I think the county's buzzing to be honest with you and um, we're all massively looking forward to it I'm sure he's all there yeah let's just look back at those two games with with Monon it took a huge effort on both days and it's particularly in the second day as well to get over the line on it yeah, um, you know, fair fair play to the boys. I think we were kind of disappointed after the first game, where we probably should have been, you know, maybe maybe further ahead or definitely should have held on to the the lead at the end of the game, which we we didn't, and it was kind of a annoying us back at training on the Tuesday night. But you know, that's 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 football like, and we just had to get our head quickly around that and uh, you know prepare ourselves for the f- the following uh, Saturday evening. Which um, you know, you know, you know, there's no bother to the boys, and uh, Rory had as well prepared, and we, um, you know, we, we we went all guns blazing. You know, we went up. We we had a brilliant start to the game. I think we were five five one or six one up, and give away two bad goals, which we were we were very disappointed about. But again, uh, d- dug deep and you know held out. We probably should have won the game by a few more points, but we dug deep and held on for the one at the end. Is that something that you've probably worked on since then? That you aren't you just don't want to concede more goals like what you've what you had done in that game and maybe finishing the game out more? Yeah, probably definitely two two things that are definitely it's kind of, you know, to, to anybody it would be kind of obvious enough but we were disappointed with the two goals as in we probably switched off, you know, um, the penalty, you know, looking back it probably wasn't even a penalty, it was outside the box but you know, it's that's it's it's, it's, it's it's error for a referee, like it's just it happens, everybody makes mistakes but um, we 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 have been looking at it, and we said we like especially against Throne, like they scored five goals against Cavan, and they probably could have got a lot more. So we have to tighten we have to t- tighten up that defence to make sure that we we don't let them in as as, as easy as uh, maybe Cavan did. But um, when looking at um, closing out the game. I think we just kind of we it looked like we made like more nervous for the supporters of nothing else. But um, yeah, we probably we were lo- disappointed, and maybe there was a f- there was a moment there, and that you know maybe the last five minutes we give away some stupid ball, and uh, we, we we were maybe should have just held on to it. But you know every, every game is different. If if we're in that position uh, uh, at the weekend, which I hope we are, with two or three points up with five minutes to go, I think we'll learn from it and hopefully you know not not have them mistakes happen again. Yeah. Well, that game's now put to bed and, and it's and it's a final now. What's Tyrone going to bring to the table? Do you think? Yeah. They're, you know, to be fair, they're a phenomenal team at the minute. They're, uh, they've taken a lot of new players and they've mixed it with uh, you know, experienced boys as well. And they've, you know, people have been saying this last few years, maybe they've been in transition and stuff like that. And they got to an All-Ireland semi-final last year, just narrowly beat out by, you know, a good carry team. So they're... They they are they are a top top team. You know, I mean, like there's no there's no bones about it. But um, like we're fully confident we're we're, we're going to match them uh, on the day. You know, they haven't they haven't won an Ulster Ulster title now in, in, in a while, and they haven't beat us in either in a while. So they're going to be mad hungry, I think. And it's just up to us to match that hunger, which I've no doubt we will. And you know, when it comes tactically with um, Rory and uh, the backroom team, they're going to get it right. So it's all about uh, the players and uh, the the panel performing to what 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 they give us to do. How hungry are you for another Ulster title? Uh, you won one in 2011 and 2012, but you're on the fortunate end of of two results as well, su- suffering defeat. So does that drive you on more to to try and get another winners medal? Yeah, um, suppose this is this is my fifth final. I missed out in two thousand fourteen when the when the boys won it, and um, so I have uh, two 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 out of four at the minute, so fifty percent. But um, there's nothing, you know, you can't explain that hurt when when you lose an Ulster final. Um, there's there's nothing worse than it. I should be honest with you. Um, you just been bad form, and you just it's it's just it's hard it's hard to take. We're con- we're you know contrast that with one, and it's it's just like night and day. It's like going to a wedding or going to a funeral. It's 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 it's, it's that it's like that. But um, it was funny listening to Frank 
talking a, a few moments ago. He remembers the defeats more than what he does does the victories. Is, yeah, that, is that the I, same? I, with you? I think uh, you know any sports person will tell you that. Um, any top athlete in the world will say that's the ones they, they remember the most because it's the one that's hurt the most. Like enjoyment is just it's it's great at the time and you celebrate it and you you know you, you embrace it with your friends and your family and your 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 your, your, your play, the the rest of the team, but. It's it's when 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 that when that defeat comes, it's that pit in, it, it's in your stomach, and it's lingering there. Like you, you heard Frank speak there, you know, the whole it nearly lingers on the whole year long. Yeah. You know, where where a victory would just be over maybe in two weeks. You know, you you've, you've won it and that's it, but um, a defeat lingers on until you get around to the next time. So I've you know haven't won an Ulster title now since 2012 wrong year 2013. We lost in 2013 and last year unfortunately. So. You know, it's really one to get back in the winning, winning ways in Ulster Finals. What's it like preparing for this Ulster Final compared to, to the first one that you were involved in in 2011? Because you just come out of the, the uh, under-21 set up and losing an, an All Ireland final, and then you were you were put straight into the, to the starting lineup in 2011, and then you, you won an Ulster title. What's the differences now when you look back to, to a number of years ago? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it seemed all kind of very new to you back then, you know. Um, you know, I suppose I was only a caddy at the time and um, it was coming in and you were, you know, to experience something new and you were kind of on a buzz, be honest mm. with you. Um, and you were just, you, you, you kind of expected this to happen all the time. You know, thankfully, we have an Ulster title every, every year since that. But, you know, even ch speaking to the older players then, they says enjoy this while you can because this doesn't happen all the time. But... We we were in we were in a frame of mind that you know this was great and we were on a flow and we were on a buzz and it just kind of took us along every game and you know one in that 2011 was just brilliant I remember it was it was, it was just you know it was the peak, you know to that date it was the best kind of moment of your, of your of your life and the supporters and everything there and that's why the Ulster Championship is so special actually to be honest with you like it's 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 just you know it's yeah, why why is that. So, treasured so much in Ulster, a provincial medal compared to to the rest of the country. There's just well, this think, unique I, thing. I, I, about, I think about Ulster. because they're so hard to win. You see, yeah. it's you know Donegal hadn't won one in 19 years back then. Like I remember, he'll give out for me to say this. I remember going up the steps that day and Frank McGlynn was crying. Like you know, yeah. it's that's that that's that's how much it meant to the, meant to them players. And we were just coming in and we thought this was just the norm. We had won an under 21 title, Ulster title the year before. And we just thought, yeah, this is great. Hey, they will bring on next year, kind of way that. But that that's not how football works. Um, we, um, um, you know, we, we went on, but we we lost a few. And as I said, that's the ones that you kind of remember the most. Um, as I said, Ulster titles are so hard won, and it's probably going to be one of the toughest ones we'll have to win this weekend. You know, in Tyrone, um, they've just a f phenomenal outfit at the minute. So we have to. We have to up our game big time from the Monaghan performance and hopefully perform in the day. How special would it be to win one with your brother Ryan? Ryan's playing some some fantastic football, but uh, it's interesting to note all the years that they just have been playing football at such a high level. You've never won the provincial title together, Mark. No, that's true. Um, as I said, I was away. I was away in the states in 2014 when Donegal beat Monaghan and Ryan won his first that time. And then, as I said last year when we were playing together, we. Um, we, we were um, well. Ryan actually played in 2013 as well, yeah. where we lost, and 2000, last year where we lost. So it would be really special to be honest with you, Oshin. Um It'd be great for for our family. Like even Owen, Owen has come in, Owen McHugh there, and um, just to have the th three of us and uh, the other two boys in the club to have five people involved would be great. Um, it, uh, listen, I really, I really hope it, you know it happens, and you know. We we'd be driving in the car, in the car together. We actually just said that one of the days that we we, we hadn't we hadn't actually won an Ulster title together. So, um, yeah, it'd be just to be brilliant to, for for our family and for ourselves. You came on and played a very crucial role the last day against Monaghan, and you scored a very nice point as well. And uh, you'll be hoping that you play another key role this weekend at some stage, Mark. Yeah, um, you know. As I said, it's it's a, it's a kind of a panel game at the minute, and it's it's one to twenty six. Hey, anybody could be called on at any time, and you know it was unfortunate some circumstances the last day after Tony getting the black card that I had to be called upon as early as I probably probably would have expected. But you know, we we kind of we know our roles in the team. We know we know where we we need to be at a time, and 
we're ready if we get that shout. And thankfully, it worked out the last day. You know, it um, uh, for for me when I came on that um, we end up getting the result. And listen, to be honest with you, performances go out the window as long as Donegal get the result at the end of the day. Who cares? Well, Mark, thanks for talking to us. We wish you all the best this weekend, the Ulster final. Thanks very much, Ashley.